Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation. x plus 3 whole to the power 6 is equal to 2 to the power 6. We need to find all possible values of x. So, let's start by moving this 2 to the power 6 to the left side. x plus 3 whole to the power 6 this uh, 2 to the power 6 becomes uh, negative 2 to the power 6 at left side is equal to 0. Next, x plus 3 whole to the power, this 6 uh, can be written as 3 times 2 minus 2 to the power, this 6 uh, can be written as uh, 3 times 2 is equal to 0. Now, by using this power rule, a to the power m times n is equal to a to the power m whole to the power n. This uh, x plus 3 whole to the power 3 times 2 will become x plus 3 whole cubed and whole to the power 2 minus this uh, 2 to the power 3 times 2 will become 2 cubed and whole to the power 2 is equal to 0. Now, by using this algebraic identity a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. This expression will become x plus 3 whole cubed plus 2 cubed times x plus 3 whole cubed minus 2 cubed is equal to 0. Now, either this expression x plus 3 whole cubed plus 2 cubed is equal to 0 or this expression x plus 3 whole cubed minus 2 cubed is equal to 0. So, we have two cases. First, uh, let us solve case 1. By using this algebraic identity a cubed plus uh, b cubed is equal to a plus b times a squared minus a b plus b squared. This x plus 3 whole cubed plus 2 cubed will become x plus 3 plus 2 times x plus 3 squared minus 2 times x plus 3 plus 2 squared is equal to 0. Next, x plus 3 plus 2, 5 times this x plus 3 whole squared is equal to x squared plus 6 times x plus 9. Negative 2 times x, negative 2 x negative 2 times plus 3, negative 6 plus 2 squared is equal to 4 is equal to 0. Next, x plus 5 times x squared, this plus 6x minus 2x plus 4 times x and 9 minus 6 is 3, 3 plus 4 plus 7 is equal to 0. Now, from here either this expression x plus 5 is equal to 0 or this expression x squared plus 4 times x plus 7 is equal to 0. Now, from this equation x is equal to negative 5. This is the first value of x. 
Now to find the other two values, we solve this quadratic equation. In this equation, a is equal to 1, b is equal to 4 and c is equal to 7. And according to quadratic formula, x is equal to minus value of b 4 plus or minus square root of in place of b square we write 4 squared minus 4 times value of a 1 times value of c 7 divided by 2 times value of a 1 and x is equal to negative 4 plus or minus square root of this 4 squared is equal to 16 negative 4 times 1 times 7 negative 28 divided by 2 times 1 2 next x is equal to negative 4 plus or minus square root of 16 minus 28 is negative 12 divided by 2 Next, x is equal to negative 4 plus or minus. This uh, square root of uh, negative 12 can be written as square root of 4 times 3 times negative 1 divided by 2. Next, x is equal to negative 4 plus or minus. This uh, square root of 4 is 2 times square root of 3 and this square root of negative 1 is equal to i divided by 2. Next, x is equal to, now from here we can factor out 2, 2 as a common factor and in bracket left negative 2 plus or minus square root of 3 times i divided by 2. Now, this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 and we get uh, 2 values of x from here. x 2 is equal to negative 2 plus uh, square root of 3 times i and x 3 is equal to negative 2 minus square root of 3 i. And first we get the value of x 1 is equal to negative 5. So, from this case, uh, we get these three solutions. Now, we solve case 2. Case 2 is uh, x plus 3 whole cubed minus 2 cubed is equal to 0. Case 2 is equal to x plus 3 whole cubed minus 2 cubed is equal to 0. Now, by using this algebraic identity a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. This uh, x plus 3 whole cubed minus 2 cubed can be factorized as x plus 3 minus 2 times x plus 3 squared plus 2 times x plus 3 plus 2 squared is equal to 0. Next, x 3 minus 2 plus 1 times this uh, x plus 3 whole squared is equal to x squared plus uh, 6 times x plus 9 and plus 2 times x plus 2x plus 2 times plus 3 plus 6 plus uh, this 2 squared is equal to 4 is equal to 0. Next, x plus 1 times x squared this 6x plus 2x will become plus 8x and 9 plus 6 15 15 plus 4 plus 19 is equal to 0 and from here either this expression x plus 1 is equal to 0 
or this expression x squared plus 8 times x plus 19 is equal to 0. Now from this equation x is equal to negative 1. This is the fourth value of x. To find other two values we solve this quadratic equation. In this equation a is equal to 1, b is equal to 8 and c is equal to 19. And according to quadratic formula x is equal to negative value of b 8 plus or minus square root of place of b squared we write 8 squared minus 4 times in place of a we write 1 times in place of c we write 19 divided by 2 times the value of a 1 next x is equal to negative 8 plus or minus square root of this 8 squared is equal to 64 and negative 4 times 1 times 19 negative 76 divided by 2 times 1 2 next x is equal to negative 8 plus or minus square root of 64 minus 76 negative 12 divided by 2. Next x is equal to negative 8 plus or minus square root of this negative 12 can be written as 4 times 3 times negative 1 divided by 2 and x is equal to negative 8 plus or minus square root of 4 is 2 times square root of 3 this square root of negative 1 is i divided by 2 next x is equal to now from here we can factor out 2 2 as a common factor and in bracket left negative 4 plus square root of 3 i divided by 2 Next, this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 and from here we get 2 values of x, x 5 is equal to negative 4 plus square root of 3 times i and x 6 is equal to negative 4 minus square root of 3 i. And first we found the value of x 4 is equal to negative 1. Value of x1 is equal to negative 5 and value of x2 is equal to negative 2 plus square root of 3i and value of x3 is equal to negative 2 minus square root of 3i. These are the 6 solutions of this equation.